Good evening, 47. Your target calls himself Mr. Giggles and operates an underground circus called the Soiree Horrible. Attractions include animal fights, deadly blood sports, and other choreographed violence. We are uncertain why he is in Marrakesh, only that he is somewhere in the city center. You will need to locate him on the ground and engage at your discretion. He should be simple enough to spot at least. The client requires that in addition to eliminating the target, you also acquire his client list. Given the target's personality, he is unlikely to manage such matters himself, so you will need to discover its location on site. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Entertainer for Year 3 and Hitman Award of Assassination. He's the uh, latest elusive target. It's going to be taking place in Marrakesh. In this video, I'll be showing you two methods. Method one is going to be the default loadout method for new players. And uh, method two is going to be involving a lethal poison and sedative poison. So if you have the poisons, I recommend method two. If not, go along with method one. Just don't bring along a pistol, though, because you don't need it for this mission. And you need to get through a frisk zone anyway. So unequip it from your inventory and start the mission. And let that opening cutscene panning shot play out. This time, we usually skip it. We, 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 this is exactly what we're going to do in method two. But for method one, we're going to let that play out and head through the market. So the first thing we need to do is get ourselves some emetic poison. It's a lot of steps we need to get through to just go and get ourselves some lethal poison on this map. So, unfortunately, these are the steps you have to go through. So, first and foremost, grab this emetic poison, a.k.a. the rat poison, from this little uh, shop right here. Head on down the uh, the alleyway. This one one's going to be drinking from a bottle of water. And go ahead and poison that bottle of water with the medic poison. She is holding a shop key, and we're going to go and get that a little bit later on. Meanwhile, we're just going to come over to this wall, wait for that waiter to walk to the right. He's going to take a drink as well. And while he does that, we're going to jump over the wall, grab the invitation from the table to the left. And then go over to the back of the cafe area outside and grab this delivery truck key. This is going to be used for the exit, so make sure you do grab that. Now we can enter the cafe itself, the VIP area. Show your invitation to the guard. So inside this area is going to be a woman that's going to be carrying the guest list. So you can identify her by what she's wearing a black dress right there. She's drinking at the bar at the moment. And we've missed our opportunity to poison that right now. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is go into this little bathroom right here and grab a wrench and grab the emetic poison from the floor. Now we need to get ourselves a waiter's disguise. She also confirmed our identity by uh, contacting Philip Giggles on the phone. So she just let the, just let the player know that she's the, the person to have the, uh, the guest list. So we're waiting for that waiter there in the background. So once he gets relatively close to us, we're going to enter the booth behind us and turn on the clock, uh, the clock radio thing in there. That's going to distract him into the booth, and that's when we're going to knock him out. So once he comes relatively close, we're going to come into here, turn on the radio like I said. As soon as he gets distracted, go ahead and turn it off and then enter the crate. We're entering the crate because once anyone comes over to investigate a noise like this... Uh, it becomes a trespassing zone. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to select the wrench while we're in the crate. As soon as he's got his back to you, we're going to go ahead and knock him out. Place his body in the crate, then take his disguise. Now this will allow us to illegally poison this glass of champagne. Now her loop back around to actually drink that glass is going to be quite a while. So what we're actually going to do in the meantime is go and get that shop key. So the person that we poisoned a little bit earlier, she's going to be in here puking up. We're going to close the door behind us, knock her out with a wrench, and then put her body in the crates. She indeed drops the shop key, so go ahead and grab that. And then head back to the shop that she was hanging around. So if you remember where that is, I'm going to show you where it is anyway. Be aware of that enforcer to the right. Should have run that way really, but never mind. So it's just back over here. Once you enter the shop, it's not a trespassing zone. You're allowed in there. So don't worry about it. So use the key on this door. The lethal poison is just going to be on the left, right there, behind the door. Grab that. We're going to use that on our target. Now, if you already had lethal poison, you wouldn't have to go through those steps, but... 
we've got a little bit of time to kill anyway while uh, that woman has to go loop back around her, uh, her loop so we can come back into the cafe where is she right now she's over there on the right okay so you're not gonna have to you're gonna have to wait here for another minute or so uh, for us to drink from that glass but once she does she's gonna get uh, a little bit uh, nauseated and she's gonna head on to the bathroom and that is when we're gonna follow her and then knock her out to, to grab the guest list i'm gonna skip ahead until that happens actually no never mind she's right here so that's fine we don't have to do that So the idea is just to get her on our own so we can actually take her out so we can grab her guest list that she has. I gotta find the bathroom right now. That is indeed one of the objectives. Hmm. Now in method two we'll be using sedative poison on this situation. Yes. So it's a good idea for that. It's it's just to cut down on time for her to come to the bathroom. So she'll get knocked out on the floor and you'll be able to grab it straight from the floor rather than poisoning her with the medic and then doing all this. We're going to close the door behind us and then we're going to throw the wrench at her head just in case there's any kind of punch glitch. We're going to retrieve the wrench and retrieve the uh, the tablet that she dropped from the floor, which is the guest list. We're also going to hide the body. And now we can head on towards the target. So that's one objective completed. And now we can head on towards the target. Now, he is going to be on the rooftop of one of the shops and we are going to have to get frisked before we go through the door. The door is locked, so you have to wait for the woman with the, with the big hat on to open the door for you. Now, luckily for me on this route, she was opening the door at exactly the same time I was actually getting frisked, so it was really fortunate for me. If it's for you, what you need to do is get frisked and then run straight to the door and don't move. Wait for her to come back and she'll eventually open the door for you just like this. That will allow you to get in the shop, no problem. Once you're in, we're going to head on up all the way up the stairs now. You'll find your target up here and one enforcer. Make sure you poison the left glass of coffee with the lethal poison pill pill jar. The left glass. That's the target glass. So you can go ahead and stay here and wait for this whole entire conversation to play out. It's a pretty good one, but it is very long. For the benefit of the video, I'm going to skip to the point where he's actually drinking the glass. If you're not interested in any of this at all in your gameplay, I would recommend just waiting at the exit. But for the benefit of the video, I'm going to skip to the point where he actually drinks it from the glass. So it does take a long old while that it does. I think it was three and a half minutes that it says there. So he drinks his, from, his poison from the glass. And we're going to make our way out. Get out of there. Now if you're new to the game, it's a poison kill. So even though the body is found, um, it doesn't spoil your sight on assassin reason. So that works with poison kills. And indeed accident kills both of those bodies at those points when you use those kills on targets even if their body is found it doesn't spoil your silent assassin just to keep that in mind just to prevent any uh, confusion in the comments so now we're taking him out we're going to now head over to this truck and take the truck exit so that's how you do method one so let's move on to method two method two we're going to use the sedative poison vial and lethal poison vial or pills whatever you, which one of you may have and we're not going to bring along a pistol because we need to get through a frisk point evening, from the very start we're going to skip the opening camera panning shot and we want to get through the market pretty quickly and the reason for that is because we want to get the guest list pretty quickly and if you don't do it super quickly you're gonna have to wait another couple of minutes for her to loop back around so she can drink the wine again so uh, but if you're not in a rush it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter so for me anyway i'm going to run up to this wall over here leap over the wall because at this point in time the, the waiter is facing the other way i'm going to grab the invitation on the left and then use the invitation to gain access to the cafe which is a members only area Now we're going to bump into the woman that we want to slow down. So I bumped into her once right there, just to stop her from drinking the wine so quickly. We're going to make sure we don't bump into that waiter right there. And then turn on this radio. Turn it off after the investigation is uh, pops up. We're going to hide in the crate then. And then once he comes over, we're going to knock him out. Take his disguise, then quickly get over to that glass of uh, champagne and poison it as quick as you can. Now, if she's already over there drinking it, do not worry. Just wait a few minutes and she'll loop back around she'll, and she'll drink from that glass anyway. Look, because we bumped into winch, because we got here quickly, it gave us enough time to poison this glass. So like I said, if you're too slow, 
just wait a couple of minutes. She will loop back around and she'll attempt to drink from that glass again. Don't worry about it. Don't be complaining in the comments saying that it doesn't work. It does work. You just If you're not quick enough, she will take another couple of minutes to loop back around so she can drink from that glass again. Don't worry. So once that's taken care of, um, we are now going to grab that guest list, which is what we did. And now we can move on to our target. Now this is uh, this bit is identical to the first method. So what we need to do is get frisked at the shop. Uh, that's just over here. And now these doors are locked. So once we get frisked and we're allowed to get past this area, we're going to walk straight up to the door and not move. That is the idea. I don't really know why there's a frisk point here and the door is locked at the same time. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't really know why that's the case. But anyway, this door is locked and we don't have a key for it. So we are going to wait for the woman in the big hat to come along. So I said, you walk up to this door, you don't move. You can, use, you can move the camera around, but just does, don't move 47. So there she is, just coming over from the right over here. She'll say the shop's closed or whatever, but then she'll open it for you. It does take a while. Actually, I'm just going to skip to that point, because it can, it can, this can take a while. There we go. So there she is, open the door for us. Thank you very much. Now we can head upstairs. And once we're up here, if you don't want to listen to this whole entire conversation, just poison this glass on the left with the lethal poison. I then head on to your exits. Now at this point, I forgot to uh, grab the, the delivery truck key, so that's just what I'm that's what I'm going to do right now. You've got to wait a few minutes anyway, so it's not like you've lost any time or anything. So don't worry about it. So the truck key is over here by the cafe outside area, just outside the uh, the bathroom. I'm just going to take you over there and show you where it is. This is the delivery truck key. This is what we're going to use for the exit. But we've already poisoned that glass of coffee, so that whole conversation on the rooftop is going to play out. And uh, once that's completed, the target will drink from that uh, poisoned glass of coffee. That will take him out, and we can uh, then exit. But all that is going to take some time. It takes a few minutes. There's no way really of speeding that up. So there we go. I'm just going to skip to the point where he's actually taken out, because it can take a while, like I said. There we go, a good three minutes or four minutes later. There we go, target eliminated. Target down. This, this guy's giving me a ticket, so I better get out of here before he slaps it on my windshield. And there we go. Easy target. Pretty boring one in my opinion, though. Played it multiple times, and hopefully that's the last time I play it. But uh, if this is the first time completing this target on Marrakesh, you will indeed lock the summer suit with gloves. So enjoy that if it's your first time playing it. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. That's a silent assassin for both methods. There we go. So that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it or if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell icon to click all notifications to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details of that. I really do appreciate all the support recently. Thank you very much. I know I've been lacking in content recently, but there's a lot going on in my private life at the moment. So yeah, I'll get back to it as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Cheers.